today is uh, hanuman jayanti so hanuman ji teaches us uh, how to perform austerity in bhakti he is he is the example of the great devotee greatest devotee and he shows us the path so hanuman ji when he was going to lanka uh, he by by just one jump he told us what kind of qualities we should develop so he was jumping he saw the mainak parvat coming out the mountain made of gold and he said oh you're going to do such a big task why don't you rest for some time let me let me offer you some service i'm very grateful to you that you're doing such service to the lord let me give you some comforts please take some rest and then you can go hanuman ji just touched and he said sorry right now i'm on duty i am on service i cannot take a rest so so very nice uh, instruction hanuman ji gives that when you perform bhakti you'll get lot of opulences you'll get lot of comforts you'll get lot of facilities don't get attracted don't be attached always think you need aram or you need ram <laughs> aram is comfort right and ram is lord ram so don't be attached you'll get facility and we do get right you're a brahmachari you're a sanyasi you you know and the kind of facilities you get even grahasthas they don't get sometimes like many times in our temple they come and tell that you know even we don't have such nice prasadam in our house what do you have it here and you get everything best of the cars best of the food best of the living and uh, arrangement right we go anywhere people are paying obeisances honor what else a person needs right you see honor every time you have the garland or this and that but these are just because we are performing devotion service so be attached to the service not to the facility hanuman ji gives the first austerity uh, that's what we should do and it's really an austerity if you're getting all the things you're getting honor you're getting uh, all the facilities and then not to be attached to it just to say okay you know we slowly slowly get attached in the name of service <laughs> yeah it is required this is required for me because how will i perform service without laptop what is the use of devotional life isn't it at least laptop smartphones like you know this is true the brahmacharis they are not supposed to be married but brahmacharis have children I mean the mobile you know whenever it cries they take it and you know, yeah very nice and then sanyasis have wives laptop they cannot move around without that <laughs> isn't it i'm sorry maharaj <laughs> so hanuman ji is teaching you'll get lot of facilities you know just be renounce see this is maya you're trying to go away you're saying i don't want maya said no why not please take if you run after that you will never get it you know that story a sadhu went to the king and he said uh, the king said how can i be happy i just want to be happy in my life how can i be happy so sadhu said just go out in the garden and try to catch a butterfly so this is what's a big deal for that he said you go so he went out he was running running he couldn't catch butterfly maybe children can do it but you know the king has never done it so he couldn't catch finally he was tired he sat down there you know and then the butterfly came and sat on the shoulder so sadhu said till you keep running behind happiness you're not going to get it but when you give it up and then the happiness comes on its own and this is a this is we have seen when as long as you keep running after the material enjoyments you you have so much trouble anxiety you know but you give it up i don't want become a brahmachari and a sanyasi everything comes to you <laughs> all the facilities comes to you so hanuman ji is teaching don't be attached attached to the sir get service of course for service whatever is needed you should take when prabhupad was going in a very opulent car the uh, uh, reporter asked you know swami ji you are a sanyasi you are a renounced man 
So why are you using this car? Prabhupada said, what is this car? It's a box of tin. Uh, you should give me a golden car. Why? I'm representing Krishna. <laughs> Not that he said, I'm something great. He said, I'm representing Krishna. So you should have a car made of gold for me. Uh, what is this box of tin you're giving it to me? So yes, of course. We shouldn't say that. <laughs> okay, I need a car made of gold because I'm going for preaching. But the mood is that yes, whatever is available. So if the facilities are available, we utilize in service of Lord. Not to be attached to it. The second thing Hanumanji says when he goes, there is another demoness who opens her mouth and says, you know, you cannot go. I have a benediction. So you cannot go unless you enter my mouth. Hanumanji says, I'm busy, I cannot. I'll come back after my service and then I'll enter. She said, no, I will not allow. So she opened her mouth wide. Hanumanji also grew in size. And she further opened her mouth. Hanumanji grew, it went on. So her mouth was from, from ocean to the you know clouds, to the sky. And Hanumanji also grew so high. And when she was like this, opened her mouth, Hanumanji became such small, went into her mouth and came out. And he said, Tata, bye-bye, I'm going now. Condition is fulfilled, right? But he's teaching a very nice uh, instruction for devotees that, you know, when we are together, we always want to prove who is greater, right? So this, she was opening her mouth wide, Hanumanji was becoming bigger and she again was doing. So most of the time we do that. And then he's teaching, what is the solution? Become humble. Hmm? We talk about Trinavarta, demon Krishna killed. So Trinavarta is same. Trinavarta was going high and high and high and high. So how to kill the Trinavarta? His name is Trinavarta. And for killing him, we need to become Trinavat. Trina means straw. Trinavat. So become humble. So Hanumanji is teaching as long as you go on proving yourself, I am right, I am right. That's not correct. A devotee should not be bothered about proving who's right, who's wrong. He should be bothered who's Krishna conscious. That's important. So Hanumanji is teaching that. See, these are austerity of devotional service. To have the opulences and not to be attached to it. Use it in Krishna's service. To have this mood of being very humble. Trinavat. Uh, not don't become Trinavat, but become Trinavat. Like a straw. Trinadapi sunichena tarorapi sahishnunam amanina manadena kirtaniya sadahari. That is what required. Then Hanumanji goes further and then there is the demoness who's, who's catching the shadow. Hanumanji is flying, he's not able to fly and she catches the shadow and then he's not able to fly. That's another instruction by Hanumanji where he says, where he's explaining that how in our devotional life we always see the dark side of the person. And the process is to see the good qualities and appreciate. That's the quality of a Vaishnava. That's the quality of Lord Shiva. Mother Sati explains this in the third canto where she is about to give her life, where she is about to burn herself in the, in the sacrifice of Daksha. She has given 10 instructions there for all of us, especially about fault finding. Because she, she criticized the father. She's saying, you are finding fault in Shiva. His name means auspiciousness. Shiva. And then she goes on to, if you read it, it looks like a conversation between daughter and father. But there are 10 instructions given. How we should not have this fault finding tendency in us. Fault finding tendency means catching the shadow. That's fault finding. You go to someone's house, you know, you see the wall very nicely painted. And suppose he has left one small piece, somewhere it's left, it's not painted. What happens to you? Do you see the beautiful wall or do you point out to that, what is this? Because <laughs> that's our tendency. We won't glorify the wall, we will just see that thing. So we have to give that up. 
fault finding tendency this is the austerity and devotional service which one should perform because fault finding is a favorite sport right for all of us as devotees this has to be given up so hanuman ji and finally he reaches lanka and there he finds lankini she stops you cannot enter hanuman ji pleaded he said i'm i'm a monkey i've stayed in forest i've never seen the you know such a big play, palaces and all those things so i would like to see this kingdom of uh, ravana please let me go in she said no so after two three times pleading when she didn't hear hanuman ji slapped her she went rolling down there and she came back folded her hands and she told hanuman ji welcome to lanka brahma ji had told me when a monkey will come and slap you that will be the end of ravan so please <laughs> come so this is hanuman ji saying how bold we should be in preaching slapping of course not literally we are not going to slap those who are going to oppose us but slap them with your knowledge defeat them hmm. prabhupada writes in uh, the introduction of bhagavad gita that if you read bhagavad gita everything is there in bhagavad gita and you can defeat anyone in the world just by reading bhagavad gita hmm. bhagavad gita as it is not just by reading bhagavad gita so we should be bold enough hanuman ji is teaching when you are preaching preacher should be like this hmm. they should be bold enough to present the truth so hanuman ji is teaching there are lot of other things to speak about hanuman ji but um, the time is up 